Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episodes of Star Trek Voyager Season 7, Episode 16 and 17, Workforce. Uh, this was a great two-parter. I really enjoyed it. I remember when this two-parter first came out. Um, and this is actually the last two-part episode, not counting the series finale. Um, but yeah, I remember when this episode first came out and I was just like mind blown at watching all of the different stuff kind of unravel. Now, sitting back... 20 years later re-watching it the first half is amazing it is really really well done the second half it's it's really good and i still enjoy it but it does kind of fall more in the cliche realm where everything just gets tied up and we move on to the next adventure so from the very beginning like usually i don't like those episodes where like uh, there's the next generation one where Riker's in the insane asylum and just watching it you're like okay so clearly it's not what it seems he's not in an insane asylum something's going on and it kind of starts out as one of those episodes but right away you can tell that they don't know that where like Janeway is getting a brand new job in this like construction plant or whatever. Annika Hansen, seven of nine, is the efficiency manager. Tom is working at a bar, or at least trying to get a job at a bar. Tuvok is laughing and he loves jokes. And Balana's pregnant and alone and she like doesn't really want to talk to anybody. So we can see all of these characters that we know and they have these traits, but it's not quite right. And like at one point, Janeway even talks about how she's from Earth and it's a far like distant planet, but it's overpopulated, it's polluted, it's just gross. Which going by what we know of Earth and like how it's this paradise, which is where Deep Space Nine kind of is like, okay, Earth's paradise, space isn't. Like, we know that that's not quite true. And so she's getting certain things right, but certain things wrong. And once we start seeing them getting inoculations in the neck, that's where you're like, oh, they've all been brainwashed. I get it now. And it's just kind of like a, oh, do to do. I get it. Um, so we end up finding out that Neelix, Harry, and Chakotay were on an away mission for five days. And it's kind of weird because Janeway's talking like she's been here for years, but it's only been about five days. And we, there's an amazing shot of Voyager just dead in this nebula. It's a really well done shot. Like for all of the CG and everything, it's great. And the doctor is sitting there trying in engineering, trying to fix everything. And then once Neelix, Harry and Chakotay come back on board, he's like, yeah, this happened 12 hours after your away mission, which kind of makes sense. Like it would have to happen right away for it to get to as far as it was going. Uh, we see the emergency command hologram. One of my favorite episodes was the introduction of that, and it was great to kind of see him make a return appearance. And then, like, basically how the, the ship had to abandon... the Janeway ordered an abandoned ship. Everybody took the escape pods. And the Doctor had to actually, like, outmaneuver some other ships and hid in this nebula to kind of make repairs. Tuvok is, of course, the one that starts remembering. His conversation with Janeway is really well done. But, of course, Seven is the one that he makes the connection with, and he kind of does the forced mind meld. But it's kind of interesting that Tuvok's the one that kind of remembers. And then, of course, uh, part one ends with Balana being kidnapped by Chakotay and Neelix. And it's kind of great because we also see Janeway slowly starting this love interest in this relationship, which Janeway has not had a lot of luck in that field. So going into part two, that's where it's more cliche. Like, not as much happens where we see Chakotay going, because he was injured in the, the abduction of Balana, he goes to Janeway for help. And then she actually ends up selling him out. And then uh, Balana slowly starts getting her memories back. And the whole episode of part two kind of boils down to them just trying to get everybody to remember and like upstage this giant coup and how like it turns out everybody kind of knows, oh yeah, we've been kidnapping people and this is how it goes. Which 
episodes like this kind of make me wonder, like, where's Ichib during all of this? Or where's Naomi during all of this? Because, I mean, is she with a different family? Clearly she's not on board Voyager because the doctor says, like, nobody else is there. So, I don't know, it just kind of makes me wonder, like, where's everybody else? Because we see the main cast, but we don't see, like, some of the little, the, the more reoccurring characters. Um, so overall, we, we slowly watch them kind of regain control, and then Janeway, after she like realizes who she is and everything like once again misses out on this relationship where he her her love interest actually did go to that planet looking for work and they have this embrace and she's like okay well I gotta go do my ship now and they take off overall I, I do think this was a really interesting two-part episode it was really good and it's kind of stuck with me through all of these years because I remember certain parts like especially the Tuvok and Janeway scene where she's like what a weird man like stuff like that so for those who have seen this one what did you guys think about it as the last two-parter uh, not counting the series finale again um, what did you guys think about the whole brainwashing like wiping the memories thing where do you guys think everybody was like Ichib and Naomi um, go ahead let me know what you guys think about this one. Thank you guys for everything, and I will see you guys next time for Human Error.